Hello everyone, it's me Barky, and I'm here to talk about some performance issues, I would say, and solutions for Rimworld, and this is for Alpha 16, obviously. So as of right now, which is the 19th of May, Rimworld is still single-threaded. So what that means is that it effectively only runs on one core, so you could have the best computer in the world, but all it takes is one decent core for Rimworld to run well. Which means, for example, if you have an i7-6950X, it actually runs worse than an i7-6700K, unless you've overclocked it, obviously. But that's because the single-core performance of the 6700 is better than the 6950X. Now, that's a niche example, but you can actually see that everywhere. More cores for Rimworld does not mean better performance. Eventually, there, be there comes like a hard limit where your game will lag, and that's late game, depending on a few factors, your game will start to lag and bog down itself. It's pretty horrible. Before I get into some of these solutions for that though, I just want to say that I'm so happy with the amount of likes and subs and views that I've been getting, and you guys know that I'm not someone who asks for likes or subs or anything like that in my videos. So what I want to do is a little giveaway, so I've gone ahead and bought four games, I've got Doom, Mafia 3, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and Just Cause 3. They were just three random games that were on special at the time, so I just went ahead and bought them. If you want one of these keys, all you have to do is just leave a comment saying you'd like it, and I will get back to you uh, sometime in the next few weeks. So I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for all the support that I've gotten recently. I appreciate it so much. I, I'm so bad at appreciating things. So I just want to make it known that I seriously, seriously appreciate it. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. All right, so some of the solutions for RimWorld's performance issues. So first of all, we've got Runtime GC, which is an in-game cleaner. So now I wish I could talk about what this does expertly, but I actually don't really know. I can just read you what it says it does. It says remove unnecessary world points to alleviate burden of game system. All right, that's pretty obvious. Clear avoid grids to reduce the size of your save game. No idea. Remove useless members dead of other factions in an animal family. So obviously that removes that removes useless things in your game, which is good. Remove filth in home area. Fix some faction relationship errors. Regenerate faction leaders to fix some comm table issues. Reclaim memory used by game system to boost up performance. So this mod affects performance a ton. It actually makes the game a lot smoother in the late game. The further on your game is, the more this will Im improve. And it's actually amazing. I use this in every single playthrough. It means that my game takes a, a lot longer to lag, which is really, really nice. So then next up we have Make War Not Love. What this mod does is, is it removes the social system completely. Like, it removes it completely. No longer will you have any boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that. It's just gone. There are no fathers or sisters or brothers. The leadership mod bypasses this, so you can still have a leader in the colony if you like the leadership mod. But yeah, do you like social a lot? Do you think it's worth to keep it in the game? Social is one of the biggest causes for lag in the game, and that's because for every single pawn that's generated, uh, they will have their own relationships and everything like that, which means that the game will lag down eventually, which is weird. Like, every single pawn in a raid has a relationship. So next up, we have better pathfinding. What this mod does is it just makes paths less intensive to make, I suppose. It just makes pawns do things better. It doesn't mean that people will always pick the fastest route, I still don't know why they don't do that. But it will mean that your game will lag less when big numbers of pawns, like say 20 to 30, try and go into one path. What usually happens is your game lags out a ton and you'll start to see the pawns jumping around on your screen. This will remove that, which is really, really awesome. And I do recommend it to anyone who who is into that sort of thing. As I said though, all these increase performance and not many sacrifices, which is really, really nice. So next up we have Zentar's Experimental Performance and Memory Fix. These are uh, two mods. The first time, the first one is World Pawn GC. And what this does is it removes all social outside of your main colonists. So it's similar to what Make War Not Love does, except it just it leaves the main ones there, which is this is the one that I use in all my playthroughs where social actually matters quite a bit. Um, but according to Zentar himself, the tick the tick rate for uh, social late game can take up 90% of the game's performance. So just keep that in mind that you could actually make your game run almost 10 times as, okay, no, actually that's that's a major exaggeration, but it'll make it run a lot better if you use this. So what do I recommend? Well, I use three of these all the time. I use the Runtime GC, Better Pathfinding, and the World Porn GC. And then if you go onto the last link, Centaur's Experimental Performance and Memory Fix things, there is actually a Memory Leak Fix, which I also use. So I use those four. They improve the game a ton, because the performance is obviously a lot better. 
Make War Not Love, I don't always use that, and that is because sometimes social in this game is a big part of it for me, and I don't always want to get rid of it, but sometimes late game I will add that in to get performance back. So this will be for like eight or nine year colonies, and when the stakes really matter and you don't want your game to lag, that's when I use them. So these are four of the mods that will help you with performance. As I said, the Rimworld is single threaded, so there will be there there is a hard limit. So let's just say it like that. There is a hard limit to how um, well your game can perform, and it does cap out eventually, unless you're one of those people who has a super like super overclocked single threaded. CPU, then that's awesome for you. You are in the top 1%. But this is for the average person. I would say either has a dual core or a quad core. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I hope that uh, a lot of people enter the giveaway because I think it would be really, really cool. Anyways, guys, see ya. Thank you very much for watching. Hey you, thanks so much for making it to the end of my video, I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion, and with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom-made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts, I've got it all, come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.